it makes so much energy, 200,000 energy already. I, I guess I'll just leave that for now, since we're not going to be using the lab for a little while. Anyways, what I do want to make is that, uh, a few episodes ago I mentioned that you can make something called, like, growth serum. Let's, let's, let's look this up. Jurassic Craft. Let's see, where is the growth serum? Uh, syringe. Oh yeah, I use that syringe to, like, insert, uh, insert the, like, embryo inside of, like, a cow or a sheep or something and make the dinosaur grow inside of there. It's gotta be, like, what is it called again? Uh, serum? Serum? Oh, there it is, right there. Let's see, how do we make this thing? So we'll need a golden carrot, some ankle. Oh, we need dinosaur meat for these things? I thought you used, uh, regular meat, right? Oh yeah, you do. Okay, so we could use raw beef, water bucket, and golden carrot. The thing is, oh, do we have... Oh, let's check our food chest. Here's my food chest, by the way. I don't even think I mentioned it, but there we go. There's some carrots there, but... Oh, do we have enough gold to get, you know, a pretty good amount of them? I don't know how well these growth serums work, but uh, let's get that golden carrot recipe up on the screen. Oh, wait, we didn't even make them in the nuggets yet. There we go. Let's get that golden carrot recipe up on the screen. And we can make four of them. Hmm. Yeah, we can't. Let's see. What else do we have? Uh, raw beef. Any raw beef? Oh, we have raw pork chop. I assume it works with raw pork chop. No problem. And do we have cacti inside of here somewhere? I think we might have left them somewhere else. So let's actually get that recipe up on the screen for now. So there's the raw pork chop. There's the golden carrots. And there's a water bucket. Uh, wait, there we go. And now all we need to do is just head to the desert and get ourselves some cacti. Now, these growth serums, I don't know if they're like guaranteed to work. Like if you right click them on a dinosaur, it's, it's just going to grow up instantly like that, you know? I don't know if it's going to do that or if it has like a chance of growing or what. And I don't even know how much it's going to make it grow. I don't know if it's going to grow like huge, like instantly full growth inst instantly or it's going to go up like in increments. Hello there, cows. I'm going to leave you guys alone. And wow, there's a lot of, a lot of animals around here. Pretty good amount of chickens, pretty good amount of sheep over here as well. Hmm. And a lot of- ooh, there's a cave right there, maybe- Yeah, since we're in a new location, we could definitely go mining in brand new caves and, you know, have our own brand new adventures here in the future if we ever go mining here, because we do- God, we do need some redstone, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to actually go buy to go get that stuff, but it's not even the biggest deal of the in the universe to, to actually hook that up to the flux duct thing when we're getting, you know, free energy from the heat generator. So here is the nearest desert I know of, and the thing is- Dr. Dino's house is like right there, but it is during the day, so I'm just going to assume that he's like at work or somewhere, and I'm just gonna try and just walk as far away from his house while still being on land, just to go get some of those cacti over there. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I hope he is not home. Why is this missing? Oh, a creeper must have exploded there or something. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay, the tall grass- I think the tall grass saved us there. I couldn't even see his window, so obviously he couldn't, he couldn't see me. Alright, let's go grab ourselves some of these cacti over here, and... Uh, you know what? Maybe even some of this- this, uh, sand as well. Maybe set our- set up our own, uh, cactus farm, and we could use the cacti to, you know, make more growth serum in the future for future dinosaurs, so... I mean, I hope, like, soon we actually get, like, a T-Rex thing set up here pretty soon. Cause that would be the dankest. I wanna get a T-Rex- That would be so cool if I got a T-Rex, came over here and, like, knocked down Dr. Dino's house with that thing. That would be so epic. <laughs> Alright, let's get some sand. That's, that should be a pretty good amount of sand. And let's get some, uh, some of these cacti. There we go. And I don't know how many cacti I want to get, like three, I don't know, four or five? Because each, each growth serum thing only needs one cactus green, so it's not even that expensive, so... And as long as we have a cactus farm set up, it shouldn't be that hard. Eh, let's get some of the sugar cane while we're here. There you go, set up our own little... We should make our own farms and stuff, since we are far away from the village, and we do have a lot of potatoes, a lot of carrots, and seeds and stuff for wheat. We can definitely set up our own farm, you know, have our own steady food income, especially uh, so we can use that to, you know, feed our dinosaurs if they ever get, you know, herbivore dinosaurs if they ever get injured. Anyways, I'm going to head back home and I will see you guys here in a bit. Oh man, here's our windmill thing. I wonder if I like, should I do it? Should I, should I try and like jump into that and see if it like kills me? Oh my god, I'm going to do it. Oh, okay, it doesn't. Oh, it did. It doesn't kill me. Oh man, that's so good. God, that is so dangerous looking. Oh, okay, yeah, it has, like, blocks, so you can't even, like, jump into it properly. Uh, whatever, guess I can't end my own life with a windmill. Anyways, we do have a lot of cacti now. Uh, t the only thing is, we have no regular furnaces, so, hmm. Let's see, oh, we have the recipe up on that. Let's use the crafting table that's here in the lab real quick to get ourselves some furnaces. Oh, yeah, I wanted to look up earlier, how do you make a redstone furnace? Stone, because we'll use that later. Actually, a furnace, there we go. We'll use this later. 
Bricks. Oh, man. See, that's the thing. We need bricks. Huh. I don't think we have clay anywhere. If we do have clay, it's probably back in the house because we had to make some, uh, some of that grout back then. But for now, I'll just use regular furnaces. Uh, hopefully, we still have some coal. Oh, yeah, we should have some coal. There's coal, like, right there. <laughs> Let's grab that coal. There you go. Oh, there's a little bit here left as well. I'll be- God, there's so much coal. I need that coal. Oh, my God. This better lead me into some national treasure if this thing's going this deep. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, let's go upstairs and use these furnaces like a normal human being. Or should we use the furnaces somewhere else? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, yeah, there's like no place to actually put these furnaces except for like maybe here, like over here by Beefy. Let's- Let's do this. Yeah, there you go. There's Beefy's corner. He's going to be making some dinner, huh? Yeah. All right, there's some cacti. I don't want to cook all of them. Uh, six. Oh, let's, yeah, let's cook eight. Let's get the full use out of our out of our coal there. Then we can set up our own cactus farm. So uh, let's get the cacti. And whoops, I forgot. I didn't actually have my inventory open right there. Whoops, there you go. And I just heard some weird noises. Oh my god, the hip silophodon thingy thing hatched. <gasps> Look at these. So tiny, so tiny, so tiny. Where's my dinopedia? I want to look at this thing. Oh my god, this thing looks like it'd be fast. Uh, speed 0.41. Yeah, it's about as fast as the, uh, the Herrerasaurus over there. Wow. And this thing's, uh, attack damage 1.1, 14 health. What's the attack damage? Oh my god. Oh, Littlefoot is huge. Can you eat, can you eat out of that tree yet, Littlefoot? I think you might be up here in like a day or two. Wow. He's gigantic. Wow. What about the, oh, the Stegosaurus is two days old. Attack is 3.97, 1.11, and 4.62. Yeah, you don't want to mess around with Littlefoot over here, especially when he's an adult, full-sized adult. All right, Herrerasaurus, how are you doing over here? What's your attack? Oh, 4.31, he's only two days old. Or, she's only two year days old. Wow, that's insane. Anyways, uh, our stuff should be done, right? Uh, which furnace did we put inside of? Oh, there we go, Cactus Green. And we're going to be using these growth serums. Ooh, I will be grabbing that. And oh, it took. Oh, I thought it took my bucket there, but I, I'm glad it actually didn't. Uh, let's go fill up two more of these buckets. And we do have four. We can make four growth serums for right now. So let's actually. Uh, there you go. Let's actually make all four of them. There you go. And there it is. Crafting table. And let's get another growth serum. Stack that there. Get another one. Stack that there, Hater. And let's go get one more bucket of water. And there is a zombie over here. Oh, Stegosaurus is not sitting anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, just thought I'd let you know that the Stegosaurus is not sitting anymore. And does that mean? I don't know what that means. Uh, who should we grow? I, I, I kind of want to grow up Lego. You know, Lego the Stegosaurus. I kind of want to grow up him because he, uh, you know, he's been through a lot. And, you know, maybe I want to make him, you know, full-sized adult just in case anything happens here in the future. Now, we, we are able to easily afford more, uh growth serums right now because we do have a lot of gold we can definitely make more gold and carrots no problem but for right now god where's this oh here's a zombie villager should we convert this guy we have no real place to put him oh there's a creperoni i don't know i don't know i feel like there's going to be a lot of zombie villagers here in the future we could always convert in the future but right now we literally have no blaze rods no oh oh get out of here creperu get out get out get out get out oh midair creperu shot oh no oh, 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 oh. oh man i thought he would have exploded right there oh jeez, that was so close Okay, all right. Hello, Beefy. How's it? How are your udders doing today? They feel soft and supple? I bet they do. Well, let's put the... Uh, where is that? Oh, here we go. C's in there. Let's get the growth serum. As I said earlier, let's try and use this on Lego the Stegosaurus and our Dinopedia is right here. Or a Dinopad right here. Gotta keep going with the Dinopedia. Uh, two days old, male. Uh, so let's see. Let's right click you once. Oh, wow. He grew instantly. Two days old. Oh, what the six days? Whoa, four days at a time? Four days at a time. Can I like rename? No, I can't rename you from up there. I guess I have to use a name tag. Wow. So if I get, if I get, if I get Littlefoot right here, right click him with the thing. He's going to go up to nine days, right? Oh man, he's huge. Oh man. Look at that. Nine days old. You see, what is his attack? 7.52. You're at 6.45. Let's look at the hips. I love Oh, that's the thing that like rubs his ears. That's in the intro of the series. Oh, look at that. He's tiny. Was he like five days old now? Two day. Okay. Two days. I guess it doesn't work quite as dramatically with a. Wait, it has no owner. Why does it have no owner? Come on, get over here. If Silo Flubadadon. Wait, why, why are you not? Why do you not like me? Come on. Oh my god, let's go get some food. Hopefully, he'll tame it. God, why is he not like me? Is it because he was a 75% and it's just not in his DNA to like me? I don't know. Oh my god, everyone wants me. Everybody wants. Oh, there we go. Alright, so now he's tamed. 
And everyone wants some food. No one, no one really wants to eat it, except for the hip Silophodon that wanted to be a part of me and part of my crew. So let's give the let's go give the last one to the Herrera Saurus. It's, it's only fair. We have four dinosaurs and we have four uh uh, four growth serums. We might as well use them once on every dinosaur. So let's see. What are you two days old? Yep, two days old. Attack 4.5. And now you're up to five days? Yeah, five days old. Attack 6.62. Insane. God, that's so good. That's really, really good. All right. So, wow. I'm, I'm feeling really comfortable right now. Like, everything is just going so well. Like, none of my dinosaurs are getting ex Actually, let's see. Littlefoot, can you reach those, those leaves up there? I think you might be able to. Come on, get those leaves. God, you are gigantic. I don't even know. I don't even know if that's like the biggest you can get. I doubt it. I doubt it. I bet you're going to be like 30 blocks high whenever you're a full-size adult. Gee. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, let's put up our uh, our garbage. We're not going to be. Oh, yeah. We need to set up our own little cactus farm. But it is nighttime, so I'm going to go to bed real quick. Another beautiful morning for another beautiful day. All right. So where should our cactus farm be? Hmm. I don't know. So... Ah, uh, maybe over here, over here by the wind thing, maybe, I guess, I suppose, there we go, and now we can lay down our little miniature cactus farm, so, let's set it up like so, and there we go, and hopefully our cacti grow in the future, alright, so, and leadstone energy cell is completely full, the, the thing up here is completely full, and wow, this is actually pretty good. I, oh man, we are doing so well right now. The only thing is, is that I guess we could try and make those name tags, but do we even have enough iron to... Oh, we do. We do. Perfect. We can make ourselves an anvil. Oh, whoa, what is this? Oh, ortho oh it's an orthocantus egg. Oh, I thought it was like something else. Gee. <laughs> All right. Well, God, that looks weird. It's just a weird, like, pink circle that's just there. Wow, that's really interesting. Anyways, uh, we still have a lot of DNA left inside there that we could use from Beefy's delicious supple udders, so let's, uh, let's milk you a little bit. Let's fill that thing up with some more DNA real quick. Yep, there you go. And there we go. Yeah, it's almost full. Almost completely full. Let's fill that up with water. And we should be... Uh, let's go fill up with some water over here. Do we have another 75% we can experiment on? Because I kind of want to go see if we can get another dinosaur, you know? Let's see. There you go, water bucket. Water bucket, and now it's full. Do we have another 75% and that's in here that we don't already have? Hip silo flood to done. We already have that. Uh, no, we just have a Brachiosaurus. Huh. Okay. Well, anyways, uh, nothing inside the DNA extractor, nothing inside the combinator. I don't think we have any DNA anywhere else, or else I would have known about it. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Uh, well, anyways, let's try and make that name tag. So, what we need for the name tag is, uh, let's see, name tag. Let's see, what is the recipe for that again? Okay, yeah, just pay yeah, I'm glad I got those sugar canes, so now we can make the paper easy peasy, no problem. And now we just need to make the anvil for the actual name tag, and it's like this. Yep, there you go. And I guess we could just use an anvil or place the anvil here on the first floor. Uh where exactly? I guess there, that fits. <laughs> so let's see. Look, there's the sugar canes. I guess we can get use some of that extra sand that we had. Move that over here by that infinite water pool, and use that as our little sugar cane farm. There you go. Let's get rid of these and make ourselves our own little sugarcane farm. And it actually looks a lot better now that we're actually breaking away all that random cobblestone, random stone here anyway, so there we go. There we go. And let's lay down the sugar. There we go. Now it actually works. And let's use the rest of it to make paper out of and to use that for the name tag. So uh, there we go. And what was it again? It was like that and then slime ball or congealed blue slime or whatever we have. Yep, there you go. Gelatinous slime. And then string. We should have string, right? Like a pretty good amount of string. Uh, yep, nine. Not a pretty good amount, but it, you know, it's enough to make name tags. Uh, so there you go. And oh, there you go. So we can make two name tags right now. That actually three. Yeah, three name tags. Fantastic. So only one dinosaur or actually only two dinosaurs, because I kind of want to name Beefy. And we do have enough levels to do that, no problem. So let's get rid of that gravel, dirt, blah, 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 more cobblestone. God, sand all over the place, sand there. Gee, blocks of iron, no problem. Let's name ourselves uh, some dinosaurs. So where are, th oh, it is right there. Did I make four? Where's the, where's the last one? I thought I made four. Huh. I don't know what happened there, but whatever. D there we go. No, I guess not. I guess I didn't make four, so let's see, let's beefy, there you go, beefy the cow, and it only costs five levels, good thing I have a lot of levels right now, and little, f uh, little foot, there you go, and I'll just do Lego the Stego right now, and Lego, oh, Lego my Echo, there you go, and let's see, beefy is here, Lego there, and little foot there, alright, beefy, get over here, 
There you go, now you're officially named Beefy. So what is this one? This is Lego. Hello, Lego the Stego. There you go. Lego the Stegosaurus is sitting. Nice. And little foot. Come on, I don't want to accidentally name the Hypsilophodabedon. And, oh, God, where's your, oh, there's your hitbox. It's like on your back. <laughs> all right, so now all of our, well, two of our dinosaurs plus Beefy are named. Wow, that's great. All right, so, God. I'm feeling great now, right now. The series is going super well. You guys are really enjoying it, and we're getting a lot of good stuff done. The only thing is that now we need to actually go adventure out a little bit more, get some more fossils, you know, get some more dinosaur DNA, and then have ourselves like a full dinosaur area here set up pretty soon. So, uh, how's our inventory doing? Hmm, I might be able to empty it real quick, and then we can go out and adventure some more and get ourselves some more dinosaurs. Why don't I have my backpack? There we go. There's my knapsack. Is there anything else inside here? Uh... Eh, whatever. I guess I'll empty it out real quick. I don't really have that much stuff inside my inventory. Don't really need to make a cut right now. So there you go. Buckets of gelatinous slime. I can go inside of there. Ladder, cactus green, wheat. No, wheat goes into the food chest. Uh, there you go. And carrots. Iron goes in there. And random items. Shears. I don't think we need shears. And sticks can go inside of there as well. All right. So a little bit of torches. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's let's get a little bit more torches just in case. Get super dark. Uh, where's my sticks? Uh, there it is. There you go. Let's get ourselves some more torches, just in case it's like super dark at night. That way we'll be able to, you know, see. And unfortunately, we don't have our shaders because, you know, it's glitched out. I don't know why it's not working. So we can't just hold a torch and it'll light up. Actually, I think we do. I think this mod pack has the dynamic lighting mod. So whenever you go to, you know, like just hold a torch and just like even just place it down, it still lights up the area. Actually, we have a cave right here. Let's test that out. So let's see. I think even without shaders, it's still- Yeah, still- Oh, wow, yeah, it still works, no problem. Wow, this is fantastic. It, may, it might not be as smooth as with shaders, but it still works, no problem. All right, so where should we go now? Uh, let's look at the mini map, or the actual, like, full-size map. Gee, this thing is huge. So over here, we found, like, two castles, or, like, on the map, we found two castles. We haven't actually gone over there just yet, and I do want to find out what's going on over there. And, yeah, we have a lot of stuff here. Hmm. Yeah, looks like a pretty interesting area. It's like looks like some sort of enchanted forest or something going on there. Two floating slime islands. I definitely want to go find out what's going on with these buildings. So we should be able to set a waypoint there. Uh, check out this, yo. Or check this out. This out, yo. Check this out, yo. <laughs> and this one, too. Check this out, too, Lameo. <laughs> Alright, so now... Yeah, is that, is that all we wanted to check out on our waypoints? Uh, nothing really over there. No other pyramid looking shape other than that one that we already explored. And this is our... No, that's the other village that we explored. And yeah, I'm not seeing anything else on the mini-map. And yeah. Well, anyways, let's go over to there real quick. And god, nine, almost a thousand blocks away. <laughs> Alright, so, wow, so this is a thousand blocks away. I am going to skip to whenever I get over there, and hopefully this thing's actually going to be worth the, worth the exploration. Yes. 